in this video let's discuss about actors actors uh, actors are a new concurrency feature introduced in swift 5.5 to help developers write safe concurrent code by encapsulating state and ensuring that only one piece of code can access that state at a time so for example uh, we know that uh, structures are value types in swift and classes are reference type whereas structures uh, structures structures are stored in stack whereas classes are stored in uh, heap heap memory so structures are thread safe and uh, fast why because every thread has its own stack that's the reason value types are fast compared to uh, reference types whereas reference types uh, are stored in the heap heap memory is shared across all the threads that's the reason structures are thread safe whereas classes reference types are not why because the place where they get stored is shared across all the threads so in a multi-threaded environment one thread can try to read a reference and another thread can try to uh, can try to write a reference that's the reason this uh, race conditions would occur deadlocks would occur so that's the issue with classes and uh, for which uh, we have this practice of using logs semaphores uh, re recursive logs etc etc but which are very tedious and we need to write lots of code and we need to handle it very carefully manually whereas in swift 5.5 we have got actors which are like inbuilt uh, thread safe uh, where they encapsulate uh, data for example let, let me say so for example this is the counter it is having a mutable state called value and I can, I can call increment I can call uh, get value so in a multi-threaded environment one can try to access increment uh, one can try to access this is nothing but a read operation correct uh, read operation and uh, this is uh, nothing but a write operation so this can two threads at a time there is a possibility that it can try to increment and it can try to get the value at a time so because of which uh, it could end up with giving a wrong current value of the counter or it can increment the counter before giving the correct value or something so this could occur whereas this can be resolved by uh, let me call this as a counter class whereas let me call this as a uh, there's a actors are more like classes uh, actors are thread safe both are stored in the heap memory both actors and classes are stored in the heap memory the only difference is if there are two threads accessing the heap memory one of them has to wait for another thread to finish the process so the which we'll discuss in a while so pretty much the same code i copy paste but i'm just using the actor uh, i use the actor keyword so that it will become an actor counter actor i would say uh, this actor is having now these are now we are calling this counter action instances are going to be thread safe but how how is uh, it's because of uh, like it's it's safe why because this uh, the uh, the actor follows something called uh, isolation so what is this isolation and how come this uh, uh, this is helping uh, actors to be thread safe we'll discuss in it a while uh, actors ensure that only one task can access an actor state at a time this prevents race conditions actually so let me create an actor so if you can see now uh, it's behavior for example counter actor so if i i if i try to set the value for example i want to set the value to now it will give me an error saying actor isolated property value cannot be mutated from a non-isolated context so what it actually does it does is actors encapsulate mutable states behavior within a defined scope this means that the internal state of the actor is protected from direct access by other parts of the program it's not allowed that's how it safeguards its internal mutable state which is nothing but value here uh, the internal state of an actor is protected from direct access by the other parts of the program uh, access to an actor state is only possible through its public method so that means I can do this so only this way I can read or I can write so 
it's only possible using public methods or properties which are executed serially in a controlled manner so still we are getting an error saying that instance method get value in a synchronous non isolated context which we will discuss in a while uh, why because actors are require us to be in an asynchronous environment actors do this isolation uh, that means uh, if you are reading or writing these are all wait operation that means uh, uh, that means actor is like a queue where it receives all the messages keeps it in a strict queue uh, and uh, only one after the other only can do the read operation for example if there are two threads one is doing the read and one into one is doing the write operation so they have to await you, we must have heard about await and async in swift uh, so that's what that's what here we need to use actually so if i run it now actually i let me print it uh, value is equal to await if i try to print it let me print this is how we need to access it why because we need to await for this to access the mutable state of a state of an actor so uh, value is equal to value it's running so why this is giving an exception also we'll discuss it. we will discuss it in a while okay value is zero which is good uh, let me increment it now act uh, dot increment again i think but mark it with again await wait if it is read operation write operation you need to await it why because that's how the suspension happens suspension happens actor if you're accessing something from an actor you need to wait you, you need to always wait next again let me increment one more time now i let me try to access the value so okay okay let me make it aware uh, let me try to access the value again now let's see what are the values it is printing but as you can see if it is with the classes you don't need to use await await but actually these operations are async but we don't need to mention it explicitly these operations are async actually that is why you are awaiting but since you are within the actor you don't need to write this explicitly now value is equal to zero after two uh, successive in increments it has become two which is fine but why this is execution is uh, getting failed this is because actors require us to be in an asynchronous environment okay uh, why because uh, actors came into picture uh, for asynchronous environments for uh, thread safe for multi-threaded environment and all so whenever you are passing whenever you are accessing a mutable state of an actor for example if it is uh, int test is equal to some 19 let's say so test value let test value is good but to access this you don't need to await okay uh, actor dot contested you don't need to await see it has not given any error 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 also but whereas so obviously it will print this test value whereas these operations are awaiting so we would e expect these values to be in a asynchronous environment either you can put like this or since it is deprecated either you can have them like this now this being a task asynchronous environment why because actors require us to be in asynchronous environment now you await you get the value you await you do the uh, you do the increment next you await you get the value now this exception will not be there why because we have given asynchronous environment while accessing or while incrementing or while doing the read and write operations uh, in an actor see now the exception has gone 
so pretty much that's the basics of uh, actors uh, whereas classes and actors both are stored in the uh, both are stored in the heap we uh, heap memory heap memory is uh, shared across the threads that is the reason classes are not thread safe whereas actors are thread safe actors are thread safe uh, why because they have this isolation state isolation mechanism using the uh, async and await stuff so to that's how they encapsulate within the scope they isolate actors ensure that only one task can access an actor state at a time only one task can uh, even though you are writing this increment operation multiple times you will not get any race condition you will always get the correct value uh, this prevents data rises and concurrent modification of state leading to more predictable behavior and easier debugging so why because actors use an actor isolation mechanism what they use is actor iso isolation mechanism this actor isolation this is the mechanism mechanism they use so what does it mean by isolation and see if you remove await here and if you try to run you can see expression is async but is not marked with await which is okay uh, or uh, like actor dot if i try to access if i try to set a value if i try to set a value see it is saying value of type as see actor isolated actor isolated property it is isolated property any mutable state in an actor is an isolated isolated property this is isolated property cannot be mutated from a non isolated con context only cannot be mutated from a non isolated context you can mutate like this you can only mutate in an isolated context this is an isolated context that's the reason only with await only you can do the increment operation that's that's what we call it as actors use an actor isolation mechanism to achieve this ensuring that access to an actor state is serialized and coordinated that's how using the isolation mechanism it does the serialization actors allow multiple tasks to interact with them concurrently but they ensure that access to the actor state is synchronized by using this isolation mechanism so they take the messages and process them and so these are all the messages it takes okay one read operation one write operation one write operation again after that one read operation it all receives all these messages and puts and up and executes it serially one at a time which enables obviously safe concurrent programming without the need for explicit locking mechanism so we don't need to explicitly do locking mechanisms if you can look at the code actor itself is doing isolation mechanism all we need to do is provide it asynchronous environment using the task and you await for your read and write operation that's it you don't need to do the log semaphores etc for safeguarding the threads i mean concurrent programming you don't need to do write any thread safe logic if you're using the actors that's a blessings which is if 5.5 has given to the developers so uh, for example this is isolated you can't uh, call it but what you can for example i have like uh, boss i i have a value uh, i i o s also let's say i cannot be applied to story properties okay my bad i can apply it to uh, a function let's say function function get name uh, which returns string so it is just a method and i don't want it to be uh, isolated why because it's a it's simply returning something so it's not it's not uh, it's safe in the multi-threaded environment also so i'm sure here so that is the reason i make it non-isolated so increment i can't i can't uh, call it directly for example actor dot increment i can't call it call to actor is remember that increment is a synchronous i can't call it but uh, let name is equal i can call a non-isolated property directly this is non-isolated so it will not complain and i can print it as well <coughs> name of uh, okay name and i can happily print it as well without giving any asynchronous environment or stuff so that means if it is a constant if it is not mutable you don't need to await or stuff you can directly access it if it is uh, the function if it is non isolated you don't need to have a asynchronous environment or you don't need to have it you can directly call it that's how it gives the breathing uh, for the developers so that uh, if you want to make sure that 
I don't uh, and so over killing it over burdening it like uh, only the necessary methods we can keep it as isolated isolated means within an actor if you are not mentioning non isolated explicitly it means that this is isolated this is isolated so that's pretty much uh, actors effectively operate a private serial queue for their messages in box taking request taking each read and write request they uh, they operate a private uh, serial queue uh, which executes request in the order they were received but you can also use task priority to escalate to escalate the request uh, only one piece of code at a time can access an actor's mutable state mutable state unless you specifically mark some things as being unprotected swift calls is actor isolation this we call it as actor isolation just like regular await calls reading an actor's property or method marks a potential suspension point we might get a value back immediately but it might also take a little time that's the reason we are using await any state that is not mutable if it is a constant property uh, can be accessed without await like this we accessed the constant property because it's always going to be safe constant values are always safe so yeah that's pretty much uh, about actors uh, so in a nutshell data isolation in actors means that the interaction with an actor's internal state from the outside world must be mediated through this control asynchronous process ensuring that the actor can safely manage its state without the risk of concurrent access conflicts so it always needs an asynchronous environment Uh, next if I come to classes so when to use uh, classes when to use actors so it's uh, based on our requirement where actors uh, they are similar to actors are similar to classes both are uh, stored in the uh, heap memory both are reference type whereas actors are specifically designed to maintain the state in a multi-threaded environment so that is the reason this uh, what are the uh, capabilities that classes have uh, like uh, inheritance and all it doesn't apply to uh, actors for example uh, to let us say if I try to have uh, base counter actor or something and if I try to inherit it will complain saying that boss inheritance is uh, actor types do not support any inheritance so uh, they have many of the same features as classes like uh, we can give them properties we can give them properties uh, methods uh, initializer subscript they can confirm to protocol and they can be generic all these are possible um, but whereas inheritance is not possible in actors whereas you can confirm to a protocol you can write properties you can write methods you can write subscript initializers they can confirm to protocols and they can be generic also but they cannot be uh, they do not support inheritance so they cannot have convenience initializers and they do not support either final or override why because inheritance call this doesn't apply why because uh, since there is no inheritance if you apply it or not it's uh, uh, it doesn't apply to it so it's there is no point in it giving it uh. so that's pretty much all actors automatically confirm to the actor protocol and uh, actors are created using the actor keyword this is a concrete nominal type in swift like structures classes and enums concrete nominal type so So that's pretty much actors which are very useful in the multi-threaded environment so if you feel like okay I have a uh, refer I need a reference type why because I need to handle the state or changing uh, changing my reference would be uh, I need state changes across the across my application so you use the reference type uh, actors are also reference type but if you want to it to be that safe go with the actors and do this uh, uh, await suspension mechanism and uh, be thread safe okay i hope this post is useful thank you